I just like the sound. Okay, today we got a group from an um, island, Belfast, called Our City. Glad to have you here. They will only have some developmental programs with the boys until one o'clock today. And then it will also happen tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. Did they ever try and get over our fans? Yes, yes, there was a lot of escapes. But since last year, December, nobody escaped. They get onto the roof, take one of that roof tiles, they break the electrical, you know, the, the wires there, and then they go over. We're at a jail here in South Africa, we're in George, and behind me here, we're just going on as a wee type of icebreaker, get people having fun and enjoying themselves. Like we're playing some ball game, like the Notre names and all out there, just get to know them. And now they're all doing uh, long jump and all, and not doing it like because I can't jump. It just goes to show you, like some women that are not even in the jail for doing crime, it's just because they don't have homes or they don't get fed and they come here. This is, this is like their homes, it's sometimes probably better than their homes. So I've, back home I have everything and I've learned never like take anything for granted. How long have you been in here? Two years. How long have you got to go? A year and four months. A year and four months. Um, can we ask why? You, how you got in here? I was smuggling drugs outside. For different people or for yourself? Different people. Yeah. And is it something that you won't do again or? Not gonna do it again. Yeah. Learn from a mistake. I think young people back home do have a lot of choices people you surround yourself with, definitely, because if you're in with the wrong crowd, there's a big, big chance that you will be involved in crime and that you will have negative outcomes in your life. Why are you here? Murder. You yell for murder? <laughs> uh, how many people did you kill? One. One? Yes. How did you kill him? With a gun. You shot him with a gun? Yes. Well, back, back home, like, everyone's it's every day, like, there's, there's drugs and wrong crowds everywhere, like, just have to stay away from it, like, the likes of power melties and all that. Um, well, the area I come from, Devis anyway, it's popularly known for crime. A lot of car theft, drug abuse, a lot of stuff like that. I think, again, it's all involved in the people you surround yourself by, because there's choices I've had to make, whether to stay with the people who was talking to that we're doing drugs, that we're drinking every night and talking about stealing cars and stuff. And I had to come away from it. Ah, uh, well back back home like everyone's it's every day like there's, there's drugs and wrong crowds everywhere like just um just sort of have to stay away from it, like the likes of power melties and all that. And selling drugs and taking drugs and just Really anything that would make you end up here, like. I'm gonna have to make the choice to start doing, start putting my head down to form a GCSE, you know? Because if I don't do that, I'm not going to have GCSE, not going to get a job. And then, try and like stop being like, like hateful towards my like family, you know? Because if I do that there, I'm going to end up going through the house or something. It makes you wonder what the choice, the opportunities we get back home, like. These boys are brought up by the role models of gang members, thieves and housebreaking and all. Like back home we would have role models like youth fuckers and stuff like that. So it makes you think of back home in here and how much we get it easy. I, I think most of our boys, um, as you go through stages as a child, never have uh, some of these things. And I, and I think today they will learn how to design your life to become a better person. Not here, but as well in their communities. Like, it's definitely up my eyes. Like, if someone like going like trying to offer me drugs, you know, I'm just going to say no, nah, because just seeing the way like people are on drugs over here, you know, it's crazy. When you go back home, there's more than just facing what mates could be pick. You face um, the peer pressure, 
of taking drugs, housebreaking, joyriding, the list goes on, unfortunately. Like, but it's just up to you to try and reflect and pick the positive choices for you in life and not the negative ones, so you know what path you're going to go down in life.